Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to set up turtle mode, otherwise known as Koopa, in Falco. All right, so we're gonna show you how to set up Koopa mode in Falco. Uh, what you're gonna need for this, obviously, is your goggles, since everything's done in the OSD. Uh, you're gonna need your radio and your quad. You can do this with the props on. You don't have to worry about that, because we're gonna put it in the middle of the grass when we set it up, and it's pretty safe and tested. Um, you're going to want to be uh, quick to disarm if you do have any issues, but we don't foresee any issues. But just remember, this is beta software. Uh, Preston's going to take you through how to, to set it up on the OSD. It's really easy. Um, right now we use manual mode, which basically means the props aren't spinning if uh, you're not telling them to. We have automatic mode and manual mode uh, in the old stuff. Our manual mode is a little different because the props always spin. Uh, people didn't like that, so we made these so they only spin when you're giving input. Um, we're going to add automatic mode in. We aren't, don't have it yet because we need level mode to do our automatic mode. That's not coded yet for the new stuff. It will be shortly. Once that's in, we can add automatic and you can have them on two different switches and decide which Koopa you want to do depending on the circumstance. If you're in the middle of a field and you flip over, automatic is just nothing faster than that. Uh, there's no way you're going to do it faster than the, the quad can think to reorient itself. But if you're in a tree, Maybe you want to do the uh, manual mode so you can just tell exactly what prop to spin and hopefully shake yourself loose without damaging your ESCs. Um, something to keep in mind with Koopa mode is um, if you are fighting resistance with your quad, and that means that, you know one of the props are, are pinned down and it's trying to spin and it can't, which when you're Koopoing, that's pretty much oh, every time, it, it is going to slowly degrade your hardware. So if your quad's 10 feet away, just walk over there and pick it up, if you ask me, because it keeps your quad running better longer. But if it's in the situation you absolutely need Koopa mode or you're in a race or whatever else, uh, then use Koopa mode. Um, just keep that in mind that these ESCs and these motors don't like it. They heat up when they're having a lot of resistance pushed against them and you're forcing them to spin. Uh, so this is something to use and, and it works well. Just don't, you know, end up using it a million times. You're just going to, your quad's going to fly f uh, worse and worse over time and you're not going to really know why. Um, if you have any questions about Koopa mode or anything else, uh, make sure you comment in the comments, and without further ado, we will show you how to do it now. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go in the OSD to set this up. Uh, you do this on in Falco by putting both sticks in the bottom left-hand corner. If you hold them both there for a few seconds, it'll open the OSD. This is different than what we had before because this will work on all types of radio, mode 1, mode 2, and mode 3. The, the corners are always the same. So Preston's going to go put in the OSD menu, and then I'll let him explain what to do to set it up after that. Okay. Okay, so he's going to enter the OSD menu now. And you navigate the OSD with the left stick, uh, the yaw stick, usually, if you're doing mode one. Uh, you go through the menus that way, and you move up and down with the right stick, which is your pitch access. And you change the values with your roll access, which is on the right stick as well. So the first thing to check is to make sure you have uh, an ESC protocol set up with D-Shot. Um, we use D-Shot 2400 on the new ESCs. We use D-Shot 1200 on the older ESCs that are BL Heli 32. Uh, D-Shot 2400 might work on those too, and, or D-Shot 32. And you can also use D-Shot 600 on a BL Heli S ESC and it should work as well. So depending on your ESC, uh, you want to choose one of the D-Shots that, that work for it. Um, D-Shot 32 is the new 32 kilohertz D-Shot 1200. D-Shot 1200 is a 16 kilohertz D-Shot. And uh, D-Shot 600 is 16 kilohertz as well. Uh, eight. Oh, it's 8 kilohertz. Yeah. Okay, and then D-Shot 2400 is the new 32 kilohertz faster D-Shot pulses. Uh, in, in theory, it shouldn't matter too much, but it, it shortens the pulses. So in theory, the ESC gets the data slightly quicker because it doesn't have to wait as long for each pulse. Okay, so once we have that set up, we have it set to D-Shot 2400. He's going to go... It's in the general menu. To the general menu, and under that there's mode. So you just pick which mode you want to set, which is only two right now. And you just pick setup mode. So now it wants you to move the switch that you want to use. So whichever switch you want to use, just flip it. And now you just want to put the switch in the on position, which for me is down. 
and then roll right once it's in that position. Uh, what? It should have exited. Oh. Well, that's an easy thing to fix. What's that? Because rolling right makes it go into the menu, and it's roll right to exit also. So is it not working right now? Well, it probably works, but it just makes it go right back into the menu. I don't know why no one says that. Okay, well, we found a little bug. We'll fix it in your release. Basically, what he's saying is roll right goes to the next menu, but he picked roll right to exit, so it, it did both. Uh, we'll make it so it only does one. It's done now. Okay, so it's set up now. He's going to give it a little test, and we'll show you it working. So it doesn't need to be armed for two seconds first. So as you hear that, so make sure you arm your quad and fly it for at least two seconds, or for safety reasons, it won't let you Koopa. It only works if you've been flying it for at least two seconds. And then you just turn the switch on, you arm it again, and then the motors won't spin, but if you push the stick, it'll flip over. All right, so we're gonna take you to uh, let you see a couple of these uh, Koopa maneuvers work now. Okay. All right, so there you go. That's Koopa mode. You can see it was kind of hard just to make it even flip over. Uh, the Willy frame does a pretty good job of right-siding it up. Uh, but if you have any questions, please comment and ask them. Please hit that notification bell, subscribe and like. And if you have any ideas for what you want to see in the upcoming Falco or you have any questions about something that's happening in Falco, please feel free to comment or, you know, hit us up on Facebook.